Home care in Gloucestershire is changing. Because of the level of demand for rehabilitation and home care services, Gloucestershire County Council now provides a short-term enablement programme to help people recover the ability to look after themselves. It's called Community Steps, which stands for Short-Term Enablement Programme. What it really means is enabling people to look after themselves and in doing so regain their independence. Jeff Orton here is a great example of what can be achieved through enablement. A former policeman in the RAF, Jeff had always led a very active life, a man with a strong physical presence and a character to match. Seeing him then, and looking at him today, you would never have thought that less than 12 months before these pictures were taken, he was living in a nursing home and dependent on a wheelchair to get around. Well, Jeff had to be hoisted out of bed, into bed, uh, to the get hoisted onto the toilet, everything had to be done for him. Couldn't eat his own food very easily, he had to be fed. And he was in a really bad, Jeff was in a very bad way, very bad way. Registered blind and virtually deaf after a series of strokes and mini-strokes, Jeff finds interviews difficult and is happy to let his wife speak for him. Apart from that, his life has been transformed. And as this film shows, it's because Gloucestershire County Council's Community Steps programme enabled him to take control. So, how was Jeff able to regain this level of independence when, a year ago, he was virtually tied to a wheelchair? Well, part of the answer is here, where County Council home support workers who help Jeff and many others like him are finding all about enablement and how their job is changing to reflect this shift in emphasis. Uh, enablement has brought much closer working relationships with many partnerships, including health and independent providers. Um, it's in encouraged growth in, in the market um, right across the sector. It's allowed for specialisms to be developed. Um, it, it, mostly it's promoted the independence of the service user. It's not going to happen just like that. In training sessions like these, home support workers, some of whom have many years of experience, are taught the value of the new enablement philosophy. Enablement. One of the secrets of life is to be able to make stepping stones out of stumbling blocks, which I think really sums up what enablement is. Because if you've got somebody who's been managing quite well, perhaps they've had a fall, maybe they've had a stroke, something that has happened to them in their lives can appear to be an absolutely impossible thing to get over, a stumbling block big time. But what we're hoping to do is to make that stepping stone, not a stumbling block, a stepping stone to whatever it is that they want to achieve. But the whole point of that is to make it in bite-sized pieces and not set the goal so high that you set them up to fail. Apply that to Jeff and you can see how enablement works. Everyday jobs like making a hot drink, impossible for Jeff a year ago, are now second nature. The help that I got from community, the community girls was, was brilliant. Uh, they helped Jeff get his self-confidence back. Um, so he was able to dress himself, wash himself, go get in and out of the shower on his own. He has to sit down, he still does now, but the, the confidence that they gave him was very important. Getting around the house, going to the toilet, dealing with his own mail. These are just the sort of stepping stones that help rebuild confidence and restore self-esteem. Essential ingredients in the enablement recipe for encouraging service users to do more to help themselves. Jeff realised that he needed help, and he needed that I could. He realised that I couldn't do it, so he was he was very good with the girls. He just let them sort of take the lead, and if they said Jeff do this or Jeff do that, you're quite capable of doing it. He took their word for it, and he tried it, and invariably. Jeff succeeded in the, doing the job that they'd asked him to do. I can't believe it's the same man, really. It uh, was very hard, 
um, for me to sort of stand back and um, let them do things for him because I'd always done everything for him myself, but I just had to, and I was so glad of the help. But it's he is so confident now; he'll do anything. He'll have a tackle or try anything now, which he would, you know, he just wasn't capable of before. And that, in essence, is what enablement is all.